Hey everyone, welcome back to Outpost Recipes. Um, I guess you can see my camera sitting here. The tripod, um, part of it broke, so I'm not able to use the Canon, so we're using the GoPro. Uh, today we're cooking a peach cobbler. Uh, we're going to show you how to do the ingredients, uh, what the ingredients are, how to mix it all up, and how to cook it over the fire. You may have um, done this before, you may have your own recipe, but um, this is something that's very simple that if you're out camping it does kind of make like a good treat to go with dinner uh lunch or, or whatever anyway this is my daughter jennifer she's going to be up here uh helping us today uh she's probably going to be the star of outdoor recipes because i'm not really a good cook but um her homemade soup is to die for her chicken pot pie you all seen that on the video the other day that was super good uh, she makes a thing called beer ox that's really good she got a lot of different um, home style type cooking recipes that she's uh, killing it with. So I thought I would invite her up here to uh, give you those recipes and show you how to do that. Uh, so that when you're out camping, you can have that yourself or if you want to do it at home or just, you know, whatever. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get everything together and we're going to start cooking. All right, guys, what we did was is I took the Dutch oven and I just put a little bit of oil in the bottom and I coated the sides, the sides because this one is brand new. The other one um, has a different type of a lid. See, this one is made where you can actually put coals on the top and it catches them and they don't roll off. So we decided to use this one. So I'm kind of like pre-seasoning this. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the fire. Um, but I just wanted to show you what um, we had started out with. So I'm going to put this on the fire now and we're going to get that warm I'm also going to go ahead and add a stick of butter on the inside Um, she was telling me what these ingredients were, so they are what again? One cup of milk, one cup of sugar, and I've already measured out one cup of flour, and you will mix those three together. Okay, so let me pull the GoPro over here, where y'all can get right up here and see what I'm doing. all up in my business. We've got a bowl, we're gonna pour in the milk. Pour in the sugar. And pour in the flour. And don't forget your whisk. We were almost afraid she forgot it. Otherwise, you'd have to go out in the woods. You'd have to get you some real uh, tiny saplings and get you about three or four of them that's got forks on them, cut them, and uh, tie the stick in together with the forks out here and make yourself a whisk. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm making... Is this the dough? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm making the dough. You can tell what a good cook I am, right? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing. So I don't have to really talk. Okay, so we've got that all stirred up. You can put, the, you can put either one in the pot first. Okay, so let's take a look at this pot here. Let's see what kind of situation we got here. Oh, that butter is hot. Can you bring it over here, I guess? Everybody, can you see that butter? It's hot. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to put the lid on. Normally it would take 30 minutes in the oven, but it may take that long or even shorter amount of time because the fire is really hot. All right, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry this over here, set it on the fire, and I'm going to try to put some coals on top of it. All right, folks, as you can see, it's still cooking just a little bit. Um, that fire was real hot, so we've got hot coals on top, hot coals underneath, and it shouldn't be long, and that will be done, because that butter was, you could tell it was brown. It had cooked so fast. I need AC. This is the homemade air conditioner. <laughs> Let's take a peek, peek see, and see if that is anywhere close to being done. Oh baby, look at that. Oh yeah. See that folks? We're gonna let that cool off and we're gonna have peach cobbler. It'll be thick dough with sweetness and goodness throughout and throughout. Peachy goodness. So if you all like these kinds of recipes and you like to see us do this kind of thing, make some comments below in the uh, section uh, below the film. And if you haven't subscribed before and you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It does help out. Um, you know, we always like to uh, hear the comments. And if you've got any kind of suggestions on other types of camp meals that are good, or we can try to cook those, we will do so. Anyway, I appreciate my daughter coming up here today and helping me um, cook this. This was really nice. Anyway, um, yeah, so give us, uh, leave us some comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That was how to make peach cobbler over a campfire. And again, it was one can of peaches. It was one uh, cup of sugar, one cup of flour, um, one cup of milk and one stick of butter um, and you just mix it up pour it in there and let it cook and it will get thick on its own and I'm sure like I said before you can use whatever kind of um, fruit that you would like I just happen to choose peaches anyway it makes quite a bit uh, and uh, so yeah it would be great for uh, campfires or just you know in the backyard if you've got friends over, if you want to build a fire or something like that, just throw it on and have some kind of dessert for dinner. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this. I uh, want to tell everybody to have a great weekend and look forward to seeing you at the Outpost again uh, on our Outpost recipes. Bye.